I'm not sure what it is about this spot, but I think for my last three to four videos, I've started my video at this stoplight. Also, hi, it's me, uh, the male version of Jennifer. So like I've smoked a pack of cigarettes every day for the, all of my life. I feel good other than just my head feels congested really bad. I'm on my way to Starbucks. I'm gonna get me a medicine ball um, because I'm gonna see if I can help my throat out a little bit and my voice because I really wanted to film today. And then I gotta go to the, to the uh, car wash because children in, in the weekend. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to today's video. I'm sorry I'm putting y'all through this. But this is uh this is my life. Hey, it's fun. Also, how do you like this non-makeup look? Sexy, right? Oh my god. Is this a mess this morning? Good morning. Welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for hey, you? Hey, thank you so much. I have a mobile order for Jennifer. Uh, <clears> let me check on that for you. Okay, thank you. Alrighty, we'll have that for you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. I bet she didn't know she was going to have to talk to a frog this morning. <laughs> also, might I add that this is the very first time I've ordered a tea. I'm not a tea drinker. Um, actually, I think tea's disgusting, but... I'm willing to give it a try. Honest opinions from someone who does not drink tea. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. We're on the road again. On the road again. Really shouldn't try to be singing right now. It is a, if y'all want to order this, it's called a medicine ball. But essentially it is a honey citrus mint tea. I got grande. It's not bad. I taste peach. There's peach in it, um, and it's it's not terrible. Although I just would not. I, I don't think I'd be drinking this on a normal day. Just saying. Car wash time. Okay. Instead of filming the whole thing, I'll give y'all a few befores. That's the worst of it. I'll be back in a minute. All right, my girl is clean. Got the rims shots up. Yes, yes. I guess the, this is the best we can do for right now. Um, you know, fumigation and reupholstering is just not on the uh, docket for today. So, <laughs> but the weekend has been wiped off. I don't know what it is. I just can't stay away from this place. <laughs> I gotta grab a couple things. first little Halloween oh hi we're back home for our first little Halloween thing we're gonna make you'll need these snap pretzels so like that some Hershey's hugs some M&Ms and then this is optional we really don't have to have this I'm gonna see if I can get this to work I don't know if it will but this is a sparkle gel in the color of black so, let's get started making something spooky. I also picked up these at Walmart just now. Um, also not necessary, but I think it's going to add a little extra something. So, we're going to use those as well. Forgot to mention that in the items that are needed. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's see. We're just going to start by lining these up. Nice and neat. Also, I meant to mention that I have preheated my oven to 300 degrees. So, don't forget to do that, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. My lines are getting sloppy. I can tell, but it's okay. 
Okay, I went ahead and unwrapped most of my hugs. So next we're just gonna place the hug right on top. It's funny, where I started getting sloppy is where I'm gonna run out. So just pretend you didn't see all of these. These are gonna go in the 300 degree oven for one to two minutes. I'm gonna put them in there and we'll be right to go. Okay, they were in there for two minutes. Now we're gonna take our M&Ms and we're gonna push them down on the tops. This would have been really cute with the Ghouls Mix M&Ms, but my Walmart did not have them. So, you get what you get and you don't take a fit. Oh yeah. Side eye. Now, I'm gonna put some some of this red sand and sugar on. I'm hoping that it'll stick. This kind of gives it the goblin eyeball effect, I think. And this laying on girl. Yes. Now, let's see if we can put some dots in the middle for their eyeballs. Love it. I love how they turn out. Spooky, scary skeletons. I mean, eyeballs. Skeletons have eyeballs. Sometimes. No pins. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So cute. Miss some. Um, oh, well. I'm going to eat those. So, for this next recipe, we're going to be making something spooky again, obviously, because that's what the theme of this. Yes. You're going to need some cookie dough. You can use um, pre-made cookie dough or you can make your own. And then mini marshmallows. I chose to go with the mini ones instead of the regular size because of what we're going to be doing here. Honestly, the freeze-dried marshmallows would probably be better for this recipe, but I couldn't find those and m &Ms. And then I'm going to use this um, sparkling black gel again. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my pan and we're going to get started. Now we're gonna do a little surgery here, so just bear with me. We're gonna make a little indention and, well, be easy, okay, be easy. Don't do what I just did. We're gonna stick a marshmallow in the middle and then we're going to try to form it over it. So it looks kind of like an eyelid in a way. Y'all, if this don't turn out, please don't laugh at me. Let's go to the next one, kind of smush it out a little bit this time. I'm gonna use my finger. My people are eating these, so. My God, I sound like I've been smoking for years. Using my fingers is probably the better option. Let's put these in the oven. Everybody cross your fingers. 
I'll be back. Okay. Next, I'm gonna put a marshmallow in there. quite what these look like I can't decide they're supposed to be eyeballs <laughs> maybe they do kind of look eyeballs but you remember the eyeball on the book oh book. book it's kind of the, the vibe you know maybe a little bit <laughs> anyways I had fun making it Okay, I don't know if you're a mother, a father, grandparent watching my videos, but I'm about to make you feel better about your um, job, about being a mother, about being a father, grandparent. This is the second time this has happened, okay? Um, so Harrison left his lunchbox at school over the weekend. And I have a backup, but I'm like, you know what? I woke up this morning, I was like, I'm just gonna go eat lunch to school with him today. You know, no big deal. So he, I don't have to worry about packing something and I'll just go eat with him, right? His lunch is at 12.15. I get done making my little treats and I'm cleaning up the, the kitchen. And I look down, it's 12.09. And I'm supposed to be at school at 12.15. And I have nothing to bring. Because usually I just go get something and take with me. I don't think I've ever made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that fast in my life. Just saying. Uh, I made it on time. I took up a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Some of these pretzel snaps that I made with the little desserts we even made a while ago. And a Capri Sun and some M&M's. Look how much of a sandwich he ate. Today he's allergic to peanut butter. Anyway. I made it on time. So I feel better about myself, but I feel terrible that I forgot. I feel terrible that I forgot. Now there's no question I love my children. I absolutely love my kids, so that's not up for debate. But just feel better about yourself. Sometimes we get caught being human, as my daddy would say. So I'm picking Stevie up now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Got my bed back, girl. What came to school today? What did you get to see at school? Um, Jeep. A fire truck? Yes. Did a fire truck come and see you? Yes. They brought you a hat and a water bottle? Did you have fun? Yeah. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out today's video. I thank y'all so much for being here and hanging out with me. Um, I know this has been very scary video because my voice I sound like some kind of goblin and we made Halloween trees so how appropriate right <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you guys in the next one bye y'all